Hey, greetings, Tuberinos. How you doing? Well, I hope you're doing well. Well, it seems I've gained some new subscribers. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the channel. And it is, t again, once again, time to take a look at a Von Helton video and see if he's got anything legitimate to say. I'm betting he don't. Probably not. But we'll give it a chance. Let's take a look. Well, now I have, in fact, pre-selected little bits of this man's video to react to because, in fact, I don't have the stamina or interest in wading through hours and hours of utter bullshit in order to get anything useful to listen to out of this guy. In fact, I am quite convinced there is nothing useful in this guy's fucking videos. Here's an example. Yeah. Let's take a look at his latest video. Let's see what he's got. Now, like I said, if you're a baller, you're not going to like this video because I'm going to smash global, uh, the global uh, model over hell. Ballers. Ballers is apparently what this fuckwad calls anyone who believes that the earth is a sphere. Nothing like a buzzword to fucking push your point, right? <laughs> That's what these fucking morons need to come up with. I'm going to destroy it. Utterly and completely. Yeah, I kind of doubt I'm that. I'm just going to trash it. I'm going to utterly destroy it. Yeah, I kind of doubt it. I, I, I extremely doubt it. Modern physics, you know, suggests that you're uh, completely fucking wrong. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have fun doing it. I'm sure you are. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. So that's why I titled my, my hangout this morning, I Feel the Earth Move Under My Feet. Uh-huh. <laughs> because it's not moving at all. Wrong. Let alone hundreds of thousands of miles an hour. What? Did you know that's the claim? That's the claim the ballers say. The ballers say that the Earth is spinning on its axis hundreds of thousands of miles an hour. No, they don't. If you're going to dispute somebody's facts, at least get the fucking thing that they're saying correct. You know, you're a fucking moron, Vaughn. The Earth is approximately a little over 40,000 kilometers in circumference. It spins on its own axis in approximately 24 hours. That gives us, if you're any good at math whatso fucking ever, about a little less than 1,700 kilometers per hour at the surface at the equator. This varies, of course, depending on how far north you go. If you're at the fucking pole, you're just spinning on your fucking feet. You're not going very fast. No, it's very slow. One rotation in one day at the pole, one rotation in one day at the equator, completely different speeds. You know, perhaps this is a little difficult for you to understand because you don't understand fucking reality? Fucking goof. Folks, you know as well as I do that if you take something and you spin it, Something. And then you pour and water you on it. it, what happens to the water? Water goes flying everywhere, don't it? Yeah, sure, why wouldn't it? With some little fucking thing like this that you just fucking indicated and spun it and pour water on it. You know, but the Earth's a little bigger than this. You know, a little fucking bigger than this. It's approximately 12,000 kilometers in diameter. You know, that's a little, but a little over 8,000 miles, you fucking goof. The mass of an object like that is going to be a lot, have a lot more gravitation to it than some little fucking top about yay big that you pour some water on. Fucking idiot. What do you think would happen to us? What do you think would happen to the water on Earth? Us, people. The coating of the water, as deep as that ocean appears to us, little people, is nothing but a fucking microscopic scud of a little coating on a fucking gigantic ball which has such a mass that it easily keeps that microscopic little thin coating of water on its surface. Fucking idiot. If, it, if the earth is spinning a hundred thousand miles an hour, water go flying up. Earth does not spin at a hundred thousand miles per hour. It spins at about a thousand miles per hour at the equator. Idiot. Everywhere, and so we but this is a typical tactic with these fucking people. You have to exaggerate and conflagrate everything that the fucking opponent says in order to make it sound ridiculous. Yet, your statements are ridiculous on their own. I don't even need to make them sound so. Wait. Gravity be damned. Because gravity is not going to counter 
the centrifugal forces of a spinning object? Yes, it can, and it does. You, in fact, survive every fucking day based on the fact that it fucking does that. The fact that you don't believe that doesn't change fucking reality. Fucking goof. Alright, and that's easily God. proven. Get a spinning top, spin it, get it, get it up to where it's spinning real top. fast, and then pour water on it. Get yourself a little spinning top like this and pour a huge amount of water in, it in comparison to the mass of that top. If you had an amount of water on that top relative to its size, relative, you know, compared to the fucking actual size of the Earth, they would be microscopic in size. The top, gravity of that top would probably keep it on its surface as it spins, but not the fucking huge mass of amounts relative to its fucking mass that you're proposing pouring onto it. You're a fucking goof. No common sense at all. Yeah, water goes flying everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, so gravity be damned. Gravity be damned. Gravity be we, damned. If the Earth was spinning on its axis hundreds of thousands of miles an hour. Not hundreds of thousands of miles an hour, you fucking moron. A little over a thousand miles an hour. Easily manageable. The water and us would be flying out into space right about now. Eh, no. No, okay, you so fucking no, the moron. Is not moving, and the Michelson-Morley experiment proves that it's not moving. Eh, no. No, it doesn't. In fact, the Michelson-Morley experiment that you're referring to specifically was done to prove that the Earth does not move in relation to the ether. The ether was speculated to be a sub immutable, immovable substance through which everything else moves in the universe. The ether itself was considered to be Im immutable and immovable. And the Michelson-Michelson experiment you referred to was an attempt to test whether or not the Earth was moving in relation to the ether. The fact that it proved it was not moving in relation to the ether was proof that the ether did not exist, not that the Earth was not moving, you fucking moron! It's there for anybody to look up. Link fucking below, for fuck's sake. And so they had to get Einstein and others to come up with this ether bullshit. No, no, no. Again, you're just fucking wrong. Read the source material. Read multiple sources. The Michelson-Michelson experiment led to, in fact, special the theory of special relativity stating, you know, it's what it states. <laughs> Fuck sakes, I can't even do it right now. Fuck, you guys would be so pissed off. It specifically led to the formulation of this theory of special relativity because it, the experiment acknowledged that the previously supposed ether did not exist, therefore other explanations must be considered. You fucking moron! There's absolutely no proof that the ether exists, and there's absolutely no proof that the ether does anything. Those two points you got right. As a result of the experiment, you quoted the ether was proved not to exist and not to do anything, and it should be discounted. Most sensible people move the fuck on. Too bad fucking morons like you can't. But they're using the ether as an excuse <sighs> no. against this experiment. No, I'm, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to need more of this. For fuck's sake. You to believe that you're on a spinning globe. Why? Because if they don't get you to believe for fuck's sake. What's next? Evolution? Hmm. Well, what? Hmm, maybe. And see, the, the the whole idea of the spinning globe and shit, I don't need a god for it. That's right, you don't. You fucking don't. Reality does not need your fucking god. Fucking deal with it, moron. That's the big upset. They don't, you don't need a god for that. That's right, you don't. And on a flat earth, you do. Uh, yeah, maybe you do. You know, maybe in order to prove your little flat Earth, which apparently is a round fucking disc with the North Pole at the center, and the South Pole forms this gigantic fucking ice rim that creates a wall that keeps the atmosphere in with a fucking firmament over it, and then the sun and the moon constantly rotate in opposition over this fucking disc. 
Yeah, you'd need a fucking magical man to even fucking believe that was possible. <laughs> fucking morons. The flat earth tells of God's glory, and that's what they hate. Wrong. It doesn't tell of anything, and I don't hate that which does not exist, you fucking moron pencil dick. They hate the fact that the flat earth tells of God's glory. I don't want to. They hate the fact that I got a fucking burp right now on the God's glory because that makes as much fucking sense. Believe in it. <laughs> they hate God, and so they've got to destroy the flat earth as much as possible, but they're not going to. No, what I hate is fucking stupidity. And the stupidity that drags down the rest of the human race. That's the problem with fucking idiots like you. And it's also really fucking obvious that fucking morons like you actually don't even believe this fucking shit either. You're just babbling this fucking bullshit in order to get fucking people to watch this garbage in order to get views and make money. Before you fucking know it, you're going to be asking for fucking money again. Because in this reality, in this timeline, flat Earth is real, and the Michael Morley experiment absolutely proves it 150%. I'm no, it does fucking not. Nothing proves anything 150 per fucking percent. Again, you know, over-exaggeration based, you know, on fucking stupidity. Nothing proves anything more than 100%. Nothing is ever more than 100%. <laughs> fucking goof. God sakes. Fucking, dude, do some e-fucking begging now, why don't you? My mother-in-law does not pay my bills. My mother does not pay my bills. I pay my bills. Oh, my mother doesn't pay my bills. Here he goes right into the usual fucking shtick. And this is why I can't wade through hours of this guy's fucking garbage every day. You know, because he has about four or five interesting minutes of content that would be worthy to react to and repute. But no. Instead, most of his time is dedicated to this fucking shit. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. Because I can't possibly get a job and pay my bills Thank myself. Why do you think I'm on here asking for donations, dumbass? Give me, dumb, give me dumbass. Why do you think I'm on here asking for money? Because, you know, I need fucking money and, you know, it's can't do it myself. My Gotta pay my bills. Darp. Are you a moron this morning? I mean, I realize <laughs> it's early in the morning, especially if you're in California. It's only well, you know, that's California. Uh, but holy shit. <laughs> just kidding. Come on. I'm on here every fucking morning. Just uh, I'll bet you fucking are. Every other morning. Just about every fucking day or every fucking day, every other day, this fucking idiot's on here asking for money and babbling bullshit to get you credulous suckers to fucking listen and then give him money. Saying I need money to, for what? To keep the lights on? Keep the internet going? Pay my bills? I've said it a million fucking times. I'll bet you fucking have. You know, you've been on the internet for years, and most of your career seems to be e-begging. <laughs> Pusillaginous maggot. No, my mother does not pay no, my bills. No, my mother doesn't no, pay my bills. my mother-in-law does not pay my bills. No, because they've gotten fucking sick of you and kicked your fucking ass out and said, fuck you, pay for your fucking self, you fucking... Fucking goof. Okay, are we clear? Are we clear? Because if somebody was paying my bills, I wouldn't need to get on here and ask for fucking donations. Now would I? Where? Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up, you morons. Because I can't possibly get a job and support myself and pay my own fucking bills and pay my own internet and keep the lights on my fucking self. That's what you're for. <laughs> no one is paying my bills. No one. That's why I'm asking for donations. That's why I'm asking for your money. <laughs> for fuck's sake. This guy's a classic. Same shtick every fucking time. Blah, blah, blah. Sh shovel out the fucking bullshit. Give me some fucking money. <laughs> fucking goof. Absolute fucking waste of time to even bother to listen to. The rest of you know, you all out there, you can go and look at this video. I'll provide the links below so you can watch the full thing in its context. And then I'll also provide links to relative information on the Mickelson Mortary experiment, Earth's rotation, etc. below. 
make your own judgment. And whatever you do, don't send me any money. I don't have a Patreon. I am not asking for your help paying my own bills because in fact, in about 15 minutes, I'm going to go out to work, earn money, pay for it myself. <laughs> fuck. Vaughn, Vaughn Flathead, you can go fuck yourself. The rest of you, I offer you peace and long life.